This recording explains how to integrate EMC Atmos and EMC Networker. Atmos is a globally accessible and highly scalable cloud storage platform. Networker is an enterprise class backup software. Networker can backup data or clone backups to Atmos using the Atmos REST API. The lab environment is composed of a Networker server version 8 running on Windows 2008 R2 64 bits and an Atmos Gen3 appliance with four nodes. Two Atmos policies have been created. The first policy creates a local sync replica using a record coding EC1016, which stores 16 fragments on 16 different disks using the four nodes available in our lab. This erasure coding is called EC1016 because only 10 fragments are needed to read the object. This policy also creates a remote async replica using EC1016. This policy has been configured to delete automatically objects after 30 days to respect our lab policy. But this should not be done in production with Networker because Networker manages the expiration itself. The second policy creates two local sync replicas and one remote async replica without erasure coding. The first policy has been applied to the subtenant. First, 32 devices have been configured in Networker, 8 devices by Atmos node. The media type of these devices is Atmos COS. The remote user is the Atmos subtenant ID slash UID. The password is the Atmos shared secret associated to this UID. And finally, the server is one of the four Atmos nodes. A network write size of 32K is used instead of the default value of 8K. Compression and encryption have not been enabled. Encryption can be enabled when backing up data through the run. Then, a client has been configured to backup 32 files. After that, a nsr.dir file has been created in the folder containing these files. The nsr.dir file contains a networker directive called BigISM.
to simulate 50 GB files. Finally, a group has been created to back up this client. Now we can start this networker group. Using the Windows Performance Monitor tool, we can see we write to Atmos with a throughput close to 400 MB per second, which means 100 MB per second by Atmos node. Then, we modify the subtenant to use the second policy to determine if we can obtain a higher throughput without erasure coding. We start the networker group again. Now, we can see we write to Atmos with a throughput around 800 MB per second, which means 200 MB per second by Atmos nodes. So, to conclude, this tutorial shows how to configure Atmos in Networker. Atmos is an ideal backend storage to backup rich media, which can't be deduplicated well, but can also be used to keep yearly backups online during several years.